Well, we're looking at some components from the steam locomotive. Grease divider, a number four bushing, a number one washer, a number two nut, some joint rings, and an eccentric crank and eccentric rod. Looking at an Alesco model TP400 exhaust steam ejector. Quite a marvelous device on the steam locomotive in the modern era. The same model that the Challenger class locomotives had. A very reliable component when properly serviced and maintained. Some of the water and overflow piping has been removed in order to allow us to remove the steam connection to the left front engine and the right front engine. Two very large flexible ball joints right below this flange fitting you see right here. No practical way for us to lubricate those in transit as they're lubricated by valve oil that's injected through a terminal check valve just like the check valve on my hand here. When the locomotive is in operation, oil is forced through the check valve and atomized into various parts of the steam pipe as well as the actual ring on the ball valve. Well, we won't be operating the locomotive with steam pressure, so it's necessary for us to remove it. We have to remove the component to restore it anyway, so very, very large components coming off the engine. And you can see this flexible joint down here on the gooseneck, which is an exhaust for the front engine, along with the slip joint right here, and a very large flexible connection back attaching to the underside of the smoke box which combines with the exhaust steam from the number two engine. A lot of big heavy components, still a little bit of uh, tough work ahead of us as far as accessing the ball joint and the packing rings inside there, but we've got a pretty good plan on how we're going to get that apart, have a good look at the components, get them lubricated, and get it ready for the return back to Cheyenne. So, making really good progress out here. Thank you for watching. 4014 out.